Shmup, shmup. Okay. So if you find yourself needing to adjust the location of a layer, selection, or path or in GIMP, um, you'll need to know how to use the Move tool. So to get started, locate the Move tool inside of the toolbox. I already have that selected, and this is what it looks like. It's this um, uh, cross with two um, uh, arrows going in all four directions. So alternately, you can also use the keyboard M to select that tool. And um, also note that you can move, um, if you look in these tool options, you can move by uh, a layer, by a selection, or by a path. So this video is primarily going to focus on moving by a layer, um, but these, um, these are applicable to moving other types as well. So um, the default is normally pick a layer or, or sorry, yeah, pick a layer or guide. Um, and so under that tool options, that's normally going to be what shows up when you've selected that move tool. So um, with this option on, you are not going to have to select the layer that you actually want to move. So you'll notice here, I want my football um, uh, a JPEG image to say stay the same over here in my layers dialog box and I have this text overlay over it so the text is what I want to move here. So with this option chosen if I just hover my mouse over um, over any part of that um, the text that I have here and left click I'll be able to move that as you can see. Perfect. So, um, and then the other option is to move the active layer. So um, this can be a lot easier um, if you have like a really small text or some like fine detail that's hard to select with this selector. Um, so what you're going to do is you can see I have the football selected. I'm going to hover over the text though and try and move that but the only thing that's going to move is my background image. So I'm just going to put that back where it was now, control Z. Um, if I have that alternately selected, um, the text uh, layer is selected um, and I hover my, um, hover my uh, mouse over, over the image area, the text is the only thing that's going to move. So as you can see, that's going to be something that's easier for, for smaller things. But um, with this one, you don't have to switch back and forth between what layer you're using. If I select the image, that's what's going to move. And then if I select the text, that's what's going to move. So um, that concludes our video on how to move objects in GIMP. Um, if you have any additional questions for me, please let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe if, um, if this was something you were interested in and you'd like to see more videos. In addition to that, um, please visit our website, www.photoshmop.co. Um, you'll see the link in the notes section. Um, I have a lot of other videos and um, not, not everything is video worthy. So other resources as well on that site if you're interested in learning more. So thanks so much for watching.